So welcome back to the channel guys, coming from Thailand here. So excuse any poor audio or visuals here, but uh, doing our best to keep on chugging along here. We're gonna be talking about Solana in today's video, just with a bit of an update here. This is one of the coins on my DCA dollar cost average list. Going into the next cycle, I think there's gonna be huge returns on Sol, many expect this to perform similar to ETH in the previous cycle. They're kind of seeing this as one further back in terms of its adoption overall. I do think Solana needs that killer use case and we'll be discussing the potential one in today's video as a bit of an update on that. So if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel and all of that jazz. Now here we have Pentoshi actually charted this out very recently here. Looking at Solana, he did point this out months back uh, in terms of the breakdown areas and where he'd be looking to see a bit of a reaction here in the kind of 80 buck region. We had a reaction there and then we came back down, broke through that, of course, with the capitulation event. And then we're coming into this kind of region here around 50 bucks, which is a region of previous support going back here, which was around July, August of 2021, and then even back to May of 2021. So this is an area we're expecting a bit of a bounce from here. Now, this is in a few reasons behind that because we're expecting Bitcoin to actually have a bit of a bounce here. So if you're an avid watcher of Eric Crown, uh, like myself, then you'll have noticed he is suggesting that we're going to see a bit of a volatility event and it's posturing towards the upside with a potential 20% increase in the BTC price over the coming few weeks. And so, of course, we'll see a nice reaction with many of the altcoins and there could be a nice Big bounce here for Solana. So something I'm looking to add here and then hopefully ride up on a bit of a bounce, sell and then reaccumulate as we head lower potentially as I don't think the macro lows are in just as of yet. So currently Solana is around 51 bucks. This is a huge retrace off the highs. Uh, so highs posted October, November of last year, $259 and some change. We're now around 79% drawn down from there. So historically, we've seen altcoins in bear markets go down between, you know, up to 90, 95% even. Um, if that happens again, that is pretty much where the golden line here at 22 bucks is. That's around 94, 95% retrace. Uh, $22 for Solana would be, you know, I think a bit of a generational buy there and somewhere uh, people are going to seriously bid this thing. So uh, if we do actually make our way down there, we still got a, you know, over 50% correction on our hands to come. Uh, we're going to play this one with some swing trades and look to accumulate. But I do think somewhere in the, you know, high $30 region is somewhere what I think we can go and would expect us to find a lot of support, to be honest with you, that will be confident with some of these ranges in, in kind of this choppy area here, around 30 odd bucks. Um, so if that does happen, happy days. I think we can play this one for the next cycle. It is on my dollar cost average list, as I mentioned. So here we have the Sol TVL currently around $4.2 billion. So this has had a serious haircut from the highs at around 15 billion late last year. One of the problems with this, many of the altcoins that actually launched on Solana, they were just giga dumped by Alameda. So Alameda Group, one of the big uh, market makers and traders in the whole of the crypto space, these guys got into every single Solana round uh, for all the altcoins that got launched. So they were funding all these various tokens, getting huge allocations, and then just dumping them into oblivion. I'm sure you've seen some of the charts. Uh, they're, they're pretty bad to, to actually look at. So pretty much what happened was we had a big TVL spike for Sol with many new, you know, sexy looking dApps coming online, but they got farm dumped to oblivion. And as things have got worse here, market conditions wise, uh, the continued downtrend is just going on and on and on. Many of these altcoins have huge fully diluted valuations still, so I expect the dump fest to continue. So Solana altcoins, not something I'm particularly interested in, but the layer one asset, Sol itself, is what I'm interested in particularly. So that is what I'll be going after, not the altcoin plays with this one. Now in terms of killer use case, so community update April and May 2022 here, this is all around Solana Pay here. So Solana Pay is potentially a killer use case, something to rival the likes of Visa. We know crypto has been put forward as, you know, the potential future of payments. 
could Solana do this with a high throughput? Potentially, I believe. So transaction requests are a new update to Solana Pay. So this is really flipping the script on previous ways we've done transactions through POS, which is point of sales terminals, utilizing NFTs. So I'll show you the actual demo here that Shiraz from the team completed. Uh, so essentially he takes his mobile phone with a phantom wallet, I believe is he's got on there, and then it's got an NFT. So you can utilize an NFT to receive a discount on various goods through merchants utilizing this POS system. So within this one, he actually goes ahead and buys some t-shirts and this NFT gives him a discount of 20% on those t-shirts. Um, so previously you'd be using things like loyalty cards where you've got you know, a wallet full of various debit cards for different stores and that get you some discounts or some loyalty fees, um, etc. But this is showing that we can utilize NFTs within a Solana Pay wallet to actually receive or redeem some discounts here. So that's what he goes ahead and does here, receives like 20% off his t-shirt purchases, uh, looking pretty um, sleek there. So what this is allowing is a new way of customers and businesses interacting with each other almost opening like a conversation as they suggest in this uh, through the customer to merchant relationship so it shows that once you scan the qr code from the customer point of view the wallet then interacts with a merchant server and the merchant server can then respond and give customized transactions back to the customer itself so this might sound a little bit convoluted, but essentially what this means is that you could utilize an NFT within this to make a transaction and then utilizing that transaction, the merchant can then send the NFT maybe some loyalty points or it could send it more NFTs as there'll be minting functionality within this. Um, and this just opens up the consumer relationship with merchants to the next level. So some of the potential use cases for this, merchants will be able to enact true bi-directional communication channels with their customers. So automatically minting an NFT or transferring loyalty tokens to the point of sale. So this means you can easily get your points topped up rather than having loads of debit cards in your wallet, as I suggest. You know, you can just have the NFT accrue that kind of value. People like NFTs and this would be a real world use case for NFTs. Also, there's gonna be composable DeFi transactions. So a lot could be built on top of this, including borrows, swaps, escrows, etc. And it says even issuing things such as chargebacks, insurance, buy now, pay later, discounts, rewards, and yield generation could be offered. So this is really gonna be super composable and if you think about things in the UK here, we have Klarna called Pay in Three is their kind of product. Splits your payment into thirds and essentially you can afford things you can't really afford, you know? So this would allow Solana, for example, to have add-ons onto Solana Pay, buy now, pay later kind of things, pay in staggered amounts over a few months. It just opens up the various ways you can enhance the user experience. Also, merchants can opt to pay for transaction fees for the clients, uh, so people don't actually have to have that kind of friction of interacting with a Solana ecosystem. If they are newbies, merchants can also decline to respond to a specific transaction request. So it's not like you could scan for alcohol, pay for alcohol without having a verification of age. So this shows you that they're already thinking about those kind of compliance and regulation kind of issues around this. Um, and this could also be baked in to the protocol layer there. And it says thinking beyond payments, merchants and brands can create dynamic experiences that send tokens or maybe invitations to special events. So one of the guys actually working on this here is Sam Hogan, and he said Solana Pay is the entry point into the system. It lives directly between Web 2 and Web 3, receiving Web 2 payloads and converting them into Web 3 transactions. The power of this really can't be overstated. The contours of this design space are unexplored and sure to hold amazing things. So this is really going to look to revolutionize the payments industry via Web3, NFTs, and of course, blockchain tech. So this is potentially a killer use case for Solana. So something I'm very much interested in is getting that kind of mass adoption use case on one of these blockchains. On top of this, Solana NFTs are coming to Instagram. That's a pretty big takeaway. There's been, again, um, a DAO on Solana, one of the NFT DAOs. D-Gods have actually bought a basketball team in Ice Cube's Big 3 League. That's pretty epic stuff. Uh, Phantom Wallet also went live on Android 
as well down there. Now, if you've got some Solana tokens, like myself, uh, you can actually get on BlockFi a rather healthy rate. So the actual proof of stake rewards are like 5.9, maybe 6%. But currently on BlockFi, they're giving a 10% reward here. So 10% APY on all the Sol that you can possibly put on here. There's no limit on that. So pretty huge rate of return for holding Solana. So in between trades, I'll be putting them onto my mobile BlockFi account here and getting a nice 10%. So better than the proof of stake rewards. If you go and look at some of the competitors as well, they're offering a lot less than this. So Sol is one of the best rates on BlockFi. I'll leave a link to that down below if you want to support the channel as well and get yourself a nice healthy APY on some Sol. Then we have this. So top NFTs by collection. OK Bears, I'm sure you've seen this on various timelines. They are really popping off right now. And we're also seeing down here D Gods as well, the ones that just bought the basketball team doing pretty well. But Solana NFTs are having a bit of a hot moment right now. Uh, things were ticking up over the last few weeks and they're hitting a bit of escape velocity right about now. So this mirrors up with this following Coindesk article here that Solana NFTs are starting to get into their own stride with daily transactions on the ecosystem's leading marketplace, Magic Eden, topping OpenSea. So DAP Radar actually registered 275,000 daily transactions on Magic Eden compared to OpenSea just getting 50,000. So big difference there. Solana NFTs clearly are in demand now and we're seeing a lot of activity for them. However, there's not as many active trades on there. So Magic Eden hosted 24,000 trades, whilst OpenSea had 41,000. And also there's a bit of a discrepancy between the kind of cost of these average NFTs. So the average price paid for an NFT on OpenSea is over $700 now, but on Magic Eden, the average price, 123 bucks. So overall, more transactions on Magic Eden and on Solana. Over this short period, you can see there's obviously a bit of a bullish posturing for this. And I think NFTs are gonna have a very nice home here on Sol, and that is being recognized by the likes of Instagram as well. But still, OpenSea and Ethereum being the mainstay here in NFT land. But the question is, will that last forever? Potentially not. So positioning myself in some Solana bags going into the next bull run is something that I'm keen to do. So if you enjoyed this video and this update here, please slap a like on today's video, comment down below and check out Solana over on BlockFi via the link down below as well. 10% APY on the table for any stagnant soul bags you may have. I'll see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.